All right, finally we're at the ledger. Guy took a sweet ass time. First, look through here. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. And once again, this is the optional clue. If you went to the 20th century market first and got the high flying achievement or trophy, you will you will miss out on this clue because you only can access it during the day. But it's up to you. Once again, either you want the trophy or you want perfection of the clues. Personally, I'd pick the trophies, but whatever. Let's click it. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? All right, let's talk to Sergio here. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. It brings me nothing. And lots of weed. But anyways, let's do our interview. Factory sealed soup cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. I don't care much for soup. It is doubt. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. And here it gets sent all over the country. 20th century market. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. And finally, it is a lie. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. And this is what screwed me up. I would have thought that since they had the same dollars, that would be one silver dollar, but it's actually his, which is the reason why I had to play through this three times. This would be the third, but Sergio Silver Dollar. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. He gets me a list of deliveries every morning. Twenty centuries always on. You keep your mouth shut for today, and I'll take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, Fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor staff for a little while longer. Well, until some common union types infiltrate this place. Alrighty. Now finally we can go to that. I'm glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. We can finally go to the 20th century market that I keep talking about. <laughs> Where's our car? Guess I could take one of those ones, but I like my red car. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? 
If you asked Roas how much a silver dollar was worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. <laughs> They always run. Well, at least he isn't black. <laughs> oh, for you people who are about to type that I'm racist. The, the black cars are so much faster in this game. Remember the black Caesar? That guy was like, had like, <laughs> running shoes for feet. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Okay, let's do our interview. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Just grab a name right here. Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. And a couple bucks that Roy Earl would be glad to take if we let him, but that's it for this wallet. Now let's do our interview. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. It is a lie. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The Air 2 Silver Dollar. You have a silver dollar, Air Toe, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Parnell's soup shipments. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Because <laughs> they're stuffed with wacky tobacco, but it is doubt. The real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. Finally, Juan and Jorge Cruz. We know about Jorge and Juan. One is dead. 
tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. And this last one is actually true. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. first. Now, let's get them. Charge! Kinda. <laughs> Before we go in, let's go into our trunk and get ourselves a better weapon. This weapon right here is part of the Rockstar Pass. Well, not part of the Rockstar Pass, but I got free with it. All right, move. Just go. like I got the DLC for this. Let's Shut go. up, Royal. And if you're a fan of this game, definitely go with the Rockstar it. Pass. Gives you outfits, got guns, back. and DLC for free. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Reinforcements are on the way. See the Nice auto aim right there. <laughs> that officer went down really quickly. Fire Freak, thank you for ruining my video. Come on, pop up. Let's pop up, let's go. Okay, I'll get this pop back first time. Okay, maybe I got this guy first. Oh, nice. There he is. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Get more up there. Aha! No! I'll get ya. Get sniped. Alright, where's my hat? Pick that up. Oh, I can't pick it up. Guy behind here. There we go. One more. Good thing because I'm almost out of ammo. Oh, he's down there. I thought he was upstairs. Okay, he only has a handgun. I think that's the last of them, Cole. Pretty nice work. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. First things first, hat first. Yeah. Alright, examine the body. Let's grab this little book out of his front pocket. A wallet, that is. If you want an address, we should see what the Federales have on. This really doesn't do anything, but I'll lift it up anyways. 
then obviously the silver dollar that's in his left hand. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Okay. Now open up this God, box damn. right here. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a at the very minimum another fifty pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Okay. Now we just gotta go upstairs to where we killed that last guy. Staircase is over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah. There you are. They must have been twin brothers because they look exactly the same. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Must be a thousand dollars here. It's a lot of money back in the day. Then his left pocket. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? We just gotta spell out Masenke medals. I just waited so they could stop talking. Come on. There we go. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Masenke medals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. I highly doubt that. But, <laughs> alrighty. Let's keep going here. Find the exit. I think it was over here somewhere. There it is. Almost got lost for a second. Jeebus. A lot of dead bodies. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Why must he always ask me that? I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Locked. We need another way in. I didn't try this before, but let's see if I can actually get my gun. Wait for the saving screen to go away. Well, I guess not. I am stuck with my pistol until I kill someone. Right, so... Obviously the front gate's locked, so I just go through the back. Once again, entering through the back. Right, guys? Right? Right. Okay. Go for the back door, right? Okay. So let's. <laughs> What's he doing? There we go. Stay in cover. If you get the opportunity to stop him, I'll get you. Nice. 
New machine gun for me. Pick her up. Cover our basset partner now. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Oh, there he is. How long do you think you can hold up? No wall banging allowed, apparently. There we are. Sit down. Oh, I didn't get him. Roy Earl got on my freaking way. Come on, Roy Earl. Get out of here. I gotta get ammo here. Where'd you go? Oh, he went upstairs. Pop up, let's go. <laughs> I think he's dead, judging by the screaming. Oh, last one. Come on. There we are. Needs more ammo. I'm 60 big ammo, big ammo. LAPD, hands up. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a is. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass, and the moms and dads, and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Uh, just as how the end of the homicide cases leaves a sour taste in your mouth, so does this DLC with corruption at its finest right there. But that is the end of Reefer Madness, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I encourage you to check out the other playlist I have, both for... LA Noir DLC as well as LA Noir Main Story. Uh, once again, they're all five star cases that should be able to help you out achieving the platinum trophy for this game. You'll be well on your way if you follow those guides. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, all I ask is that you just, just give the video a quick rating. Uh, it just helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time if there's any more DLC for this game. All right, have a fantastic day. Peace.